no. of the situation with travellers in the east of the county. Yes, Steve, good morning. We've talked about this on the programme before, the uh, open hostility sometimes from communities when there is an application to build uh, or place a traveller's site near them. Um, this is particular site is, uh, we touched on on the programme before, it's a disused car park formerly owned by the, uh, or used by the staff at LV, Liverpool Victoria, or Frizzell as it used to be known for many people in that part of the world. And it's a car park at Branksham Triangle. It's included in the council's draft local plan for 15 permanent traveller pitches. Now, in the video on his social media account on X or Twitter, uh, Sir Connor Byrne said people would not expect the local council to decide who our neighbours are going to be, but that's what's going to happen, potentially. He said BCP had allocated the site for what they call the so-called settled gypsy and traveller community, adding, I'm not saying they shouldn't have a site, I'm saying in agreement with, I think, many local residents, the site here in the middle of this residential area is not the right place, Steve. And, and there's, a, there's a group that represents presents travellers who are unhappy about that video? Yes, a national charity, the Traveller Movement, that represents the interests of Roma, Irish, Gypsy and Travellers, says Conor Burns is inflaming racial tension, weaponising people's prejudice for political advantage. It's an election year, let's not forget. In a letter to the Conservative Party chair, Richard Holden, the Traveller Movement CEO, Yvonne McNamara, wrote, the content of the video spoke of Roma Gypsies and Irish travellers as if they were second-class citizens. Pauline Anderson, OB, Pauline Melville Anderson, I should say, OBE is from the Irish Traveller community. She's chair of the trustees of the Traveller movement and gave me her reaction to the video. I wouldn't know where to start. It's the whole tone of the video. The whole tone is that this uh, gypsies, travellers are a problem to be solved rather than you know, people, <laughs> uh, individuals and families and valued members of society. Many of us making a real contribution to, to our communities and society, uh, particularly saying that, you know, there shouldn't be any settled, any settled site in a, a residential area is really, really worrying. What it's implying or saying is that our community shouldn't live alongside people from other ethnicities, that we should be living completely separately and that, you know, that we're best out of sight, out of mind. Pauline Anderson there from the group The Travellers Movement. What does she want to happen now, Tristan? Well, Steve, the charity have written to the Parliamentary Standards Commissioner. The Office of the Commissioner, though, says it's a constituency matter. It doesn't relate to his parliamentary conduct or uh, speeches in the House of Commons, so it's not for them to in, uh, investigate. The group, though, is considering possible legal action for what they say is racist language, even possibly reporting it as a hate crime. They're taking legal advice on that. But they've asked Connor Burns and the chair of the Conservative Party to apologise. I mean, you know, just on a human level, an apology is uh, welcomed. I think really importantly that his party hold him to account um, and to imagine that he'd said similar things about any other ethnic group or minority group or group with protected characteris characteristics. And is that acceptable? You know, wh where else would, how else would that be acceptable? So, yes, I do expect him to apologise and I do expect his party to hold him to account and also apologise on his behalf. The other side of this is that there is pre-existing prejudice against the traveller community. Connor Burns has not responded to my request for an interview or a comment about this, but he might say he's merely reflecting the concerns of his own constituents. What would your response be? I'd say that there are constituents who have concerns about all kinds of things who are anti-Semitic, uh, and are anti-gay, anti-anti, all kinds of things. Do we uphold those kinds of views? And, you know, we're, we're looking to build communities here, not to break communities apart. So it's not acceptable to, to expect politicians to reflect uh, views that are, in, um, you know, are, are not democratic and are not uh, and, and are in, in some cases actually openly racist. We are here to to build society and not to, to build division. And I think it's his duty to stand up and do what's right for all constituents. And that includes uh, his constituents who may be gypsies and travellers.
Paulie Melville Anderson, OBE there. Let's start there back in the east of the county. A charity representing gypsies and travellers has accused a Dorset MP of inciting discrimination. This is the Bournemouth West MP, Sir Connor Burns, a Conservative. He posted the video on social media about plans for a permanent traveller site on a disused car park in his constituency. Here he is talking about the issue. He's standing on Yarmouth Road and this is what he says. So in January this year, BCP Council began the process of coming up with their draft local plan. And within that local plan, they have allocated the site with 15 spaces for what they call the so-called settled gypsy and traveller community. And that site is just near here. Well, the Traveller Movement organisation has said Sir Connor's comments have fanned the flames of racism. I'm delighted to say its Chair of Trustees, Pauline Melvin Anderson, OBE, joins me on the line now. Pauline, good morning. Good morning, Steve. Appreciate you being there. What is it about what Sir Connor has said that fans the flames of racism? Well, I'm from the traveller community myself, so um, yeah, I've had a, a, li a lifetime of this, and um, you know, uh, we've got used to this kind of uh, this kind of comment because it's playing on people's fears. What, what kind of comment, you know, Pauline? What, what, what is it? What is it that he said that well, is playing on people's fears? The comments are that that yeah, that a new settled site shouldn't be in a residential area, and and what we're saying is, well, where should it be then? And there's been a lot of studies about where some of the traveller sites are, and they're in. And and Catherine Quarmby, uh, a journalist, recently did a, an in-depth review about being on very dangerous uh, sites, res, uh, industrial areas, um, po places with poison, which contribute to really poor health outcomes for gypsies and travellers. Mm. And there's this fear of, you know, you can't have these people. You know, the implication is these people can't be near um, a kind of make the mainstream community and that's not the case because I have you know members of my family have lived in in Bristol in Essex in central London on sites for, for years uh, getting on really well with their local community uh, integrating well being f friends all going to the same pub etc and I think you know this kind of behavior particularly pre-election is really dog whistle politics playing on people's worst fears fears of the unknown you might never have met a gypsy or traveler yeah or no yeah. one as a friend. It's stereotyping of the very worst kind. And just remember that over 80% of gypsies and travellers actually don't live on a site. They live in uh, settled in housing, in fixed housing. So we're talking about very small numbers of people um, across okay. the country anyway. Th th there are examples, though, Pauline, and I don't know if they, if you draw a, a sort of line between these examples and, and what we're talking about with, with this site in the Branksham Triangle. But, you know, just a few miles down the road in Pool Park, for instance, there have been uh, an authorised camp in recent years where once the gypsies and travellers move on you know you only have to walk on to that public park which is covered in human waste uh, rubbish broken glass uh, you can understand how people might have fears about that kind of behavior yeah. happening you know within their neighborhoods I can, I can understand that, and that does no one any good, does it? And I think there are real difficulties with unauthorised um, sites because of the lack of uh, transit sites. Yeah. Um, but is, it, is it not Leeds, fair to presume that some of the behaviour from un unauthorised sites will, will move on to these settled sites? No, it's very, very different once people are settled and are connected to their community. They want, and also have the relevant services available, because remember that gypsies and travellers do pay council tax, they pay, they're paying their tax like me, you know, it's it, there are assumptions that that isn't the case and of course then they, they are entitled to the services appropriate to, to their to their life. Um, and, I, and, and, and often it's because there aren't, you know, there aren't toilets or there isn't uh, there aren't waste, waste um bins etc yeah. on the transit sites now when there are then that that problem goes away and that is the case as i mentioned in leeds where they have something called negotiated stopping and they meet with people before they arrive they might be coming up for a, a wedding or a funeral or on the way to appleby fair and they say right we're going to stay for two weeks these are the services we're going to have and everything will be left clean and tidy when we go and i think it's just managing that and not you know not judging everyone by those by those very 
low standards um, and, 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 a, and a permanent site is very different from a transit site. Yeah, and you will know that there has been, uh, well, I, I hope you'll know, there's been a conversation for a very long time about where exactly a permanent site might go mm. in mm. what is now mm. the Bournemouth Christchurch and, and Poole area. And it's a, it's a can that has been mm. kicked down the road for a very lo- long time. And I don't know if you have mm. thoughts about the, the fact that that is, is allowed to happen, that uh, authorities can... Um, postpone those kind of decisions well yes obviously the traveler movement which is a national charity works very hard with, with others including friends families travelers to um to speed up those decisions and obviously it is a very difficult local decision i've worked in local government for years myself and i have seen this happen within various areas and it's a decision that nobody wants to take because it's not popular but actually you know if we go back to the fact that many many gypsies and travelers are living on sites that are really well well kept they're getting on well with their neighbors i've got my own family in bristol where they you know they they've got friends and they 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 help each other just like any other good neighbors um and 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 the stereotypical view of of gypsies and travelers is you know it needs to change and we do a lot of work on that people you know it blows their minds to think that somebody from a traveler community might be a teacher or a nurse mm. or you know a car mechanic and all these things and actually until you get to know people you will have stereotypical and fear-based views and we want to help people to overcome those um uh, we contacted uh connor burns and the conservative party chair richard holden for a response they have uh, so far not responded uh, pauline on the assumption the bournemouth west mp is, is listening to us today um would you like to uh, see him sit down with him maybe take him to some uh, traveler communities to introduce him to how how they work in other parts of the the country absolutely i would be delighted to do that, Connor. And um, if you were interested, we'd be we'd spend as much time as you like just talking with you about these issues. You know, it's about coming to reasonable and sensible conclusions. And actually, you know, it's a more mature, democratic, pol- political uh, way forward, isn't it? Very good to talk to you this morning. That is Pauline Melvin Anderson, OBE, the chair of trustees of the organisation, the Traveller Movement.